Hey, hey, here we are, making meals better with Ken and Denise and Katie. Hold on, she doesn't know she can't be seen yet. So, and we got, oh, let's see. Oh, I can't find Pepsi yet. She's wandering around. Hold on. Oh, where is she? Where is she? <gasps> There's Pepsi and Katie. They're our special chefs today. Yeah. So, we're getting to know one another. So, here's hoping. So, today we're going to do something simple. And I realized the other day when I was talking to someone that the idea of just like using ground burger and like frying it and putting gravy on it was like a foreign concept to some people. So, I guess what we think and have frequently is not common knowledge to everybody. So, here's the deal. <sighs> today we are making ground hamburger. Ken has put two pounds in the electric fry pan and started frying it. And we got, okay, I'm gonna turn you around. All right, so. So, Ken's brown and burger. We got mushrooms here to add to it, I think, at some point. Yep, real mashed potatoes, people. Over here, Ken has already made up, oh, I gotta sneeze. We're having a snafu. Wasted butter. Okay, just for the record, gravy. Now my mom always made us stir in the cast iron pan for like 20 minutes. So it was news to me when Ken started cooking and <coughs> we used packets of gravy. Or so packets, jarred gravy. Or jarred gravy. Or in a can. Who knew? Who knew? And then back there, we're gonna have you probably for the mashed potatoes. And then Ken and Katie outruled me, so we're having corn. You all know my feelings on corn as a vegetable. You're not eating anything. And corn. it's not. Katie's melting butter, and we're gonna have hash browns. I'm gonna have hash browns. These two are having mashed potatoes. So now I'm gonna check out the visiting dog while these two figure it out. So you see, it can be simple, except there's four dogs today. Yeah, so you have four dogs and three people. Yeah, and you see, for the last two hours, we've been trying to get these dogs to play nice. And while our big old dog really doesn't care, Lil Miss Thing, she cares. We don't know where she's at. She's hiding. She's right there. Oh, she's hiding. Let's go. Yes, I want to take Katie. There we go. I figured out you were here, Katie. So, we are trying to get these dogs to like one another so that during rodeo season, Katie and Pepsi can stay with us. Tickets coming up this week. Do you guys rodeo? Do you like to rodeo? This is by far the highlight of moving to Isanti for me is the rodeo. So every summer, the first weekend after the 4th of July, the firefighters put on a rodeo. It's a big deal, guys. It's like, it's a huge rodeo thing. We get big bulls and we get lots of cowboys, some of them with red wristbands and that. You'll have to ask Katie or Liz about that sometime. Sometimes Casey Pope too, a buck and, bull, a buck and horse rider. Yeah and we have all kinds of fun stuff. It's a whole weekend and it's just so much fun. And of course it's double fun because we only live a mile from the rodeo grounds, which of course makes the rodeo triple fun. We walk there. Especially when our drinks are included. Yeah, and we walk back because, you know, it's wiser. Drinking and driving will cost you $10,000. Says the 911 dispatcher, so I'm gonna believe her. So Katie's back there. Does that include your six years of insurance raising? No, that is just legal to you. There you go. You used to be, get your first DWI, you didn't even need a lawyer. Hey Kelly, how are you doing? Yeah. Yum, it is gonna be delicious. Which part do you think is deliciouser? The hamburger? Me. Well, we'll wait and see if she answers that one. <laughs> hey. hey, you forgot to say hello to your neighbors. You forgot to tell me I was on camera. On camera. Hello, Nibble. <laughs> <laughs> I 
But anyway, I think you should come up to the rodeo. We got a brand new <laughs> hotel in town. I'm sure it will be full. I don't even know if it'll be open by then. Ken, oh, where's sure. her beer? I ain't got it. She's got it. I have mine. Kelly is asking where her beer is. If you come up here, there will be a beer for you. And lemon juice. Remember all those years Ken used to say you don't fruit the beer? It's Corona. It's Mexican. <laughs> They're all fruity. <laughs> so there you go. The beer is here. <laughs> now, people, we have two pounds of burger. There are three of us here. In a personal trainer world, she would say, we all only need four to six ounces of burger at any time. But in Denise's real world, Screw I know that Ken will eat most of it, and I will have to squirrel away my lunch for tomorrow, and Katie and I will get to eat. <laughs> Let's see, for those of you just checking in, we are making... Is Nicole on? Eight, eight, ounce, so. eight ounces of mushrooms, just thrown in. All right, we're making ground hamburger with eight ounces of sliced mushrooms oh, because... Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, and Ken just had an inspiration. Uh, Fridge time. I don't have any cut. Guess, guess we don't have any onions. Oh, thank goodness. With mashed potatoes and gravy and corn as our grain. Not our vegetable. The potatoes are our vegetable. Nicole says, hi, Katie. She is indeed on. We could put this on top of on bread, too. You could, and then it was always called a hot beef at the restaurant I worked at. Hot beef is yeah, roast beef with gravy over it and mashed potatoes in between the bread slices. Nicole, if we put it on bread, it's your open face sandwich. Yeah, that and that. So. Much better with corn and gravy and mashed potatoes. When are we going to start cooking the mashed potatoes? That'll be the last thing we do because all we got to do is boil the water. It doesn't take that long for that water to boil. Yes, we are making mashed potatoes from a box. But it says real Idaho potatoes on it, so I'm sure they're real. We're also yeah, making hash browns because I prefer salt. hash browns. And let's see, last night I heard... It's mashed potatoes from a bag because it came from the food shelf. <laughs> I heard, you know, plan my whole week That's up. That's eating on a budget. <laughs> I can't really plan for a whole week, but I can plan for lunch tomorrow. And for lunch tomorrow, I'm going to make sure I have four ounces of this beef set aside before Ken starts eating leftovers. You got steak in here from last night. Well, there you go. I might have steak, too. You got rice in here. Look, guess what's for Friday? Steak you got, and rice. You got hot dogs. No, those are puppy treats. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe I need to get you hot dogs for puppy treats. Yeah, that would be an inexpensive puppy treat. We're going to a naturopathic sort of vet. So we give our dogs, like, what they have today? Duck? No, no chicken. No, they had chicken legs. So we just get Bones chicken legs. And all. But uncooked, yep. it's, raw. It's good for them. They chew their, they chew the bone and it's supposed to clean their teeth. Of course, some of them don't chew the bone. Do not ever give a dog a cooked bone because of splinters. Got it? Only raw bones. And they can have raw chicken bones. It ain't going to hurt them. Because evidently dogs' guts have different bacteria than ours. Oh, Dr. Levy would be so proud of us, honey. They don't. Something about their, their digestive system, they don't get, they, they don't get salmonella poisoning. So they, that's why they can eat the raw chicken and all that. Some nights they get spare ribs. Some nights they get eggs. Sometimes they get duck. Short ribs. Sometimes they get bunny. You just never know. Whatever's on set of bunny. Rabbit. A rabbit. No. Rabbit. Oh. <laughs> that from the dog store. That mm -hmm. we get from the dog store. But you know, if a bunny ever crossed our yard, I think Saki would know what to do with it. He's already I don't killed think one he... bunny he here. Kill him all the time, that gentleman. Just once he caught one, yeah. Should have let him eat it. Because now he's so old, I don't think so. He's been playing with Pepsi all afternoon. He's killed a couple birds in the yard. He's been playing with Pepsi, and now he just he realizes he's not a young pup. Do you have fun? Do you like Pepsi? Huh? I don't even think they did anything. I think they just sniffed at each other and went their separate ways. Yeah, they ran around just a smidge. Saki gets along with certain breeds, big, bigger dogs. Saki seems to know his size. Bling, 
Bling does not know her size. <coughs> Bling She's is a busy. female, that's why. Bling is protecting me and protecting Ken. And Bling was protecting Katie. So. I was Bling's first. Yeah. What are we turning off over there? No, I'm going to add more water to the uh, gravy because I put too much flour in it. So, okay, so explain this gravy packet making business. Why? It's self explanatory. Kind but of you hurt. put flour in it, so I don't okay, know if it's yeah, self explanatory. Explain it for people like me. So, the gravy packet is powder and you put it with one cup of water. Why don't you pull one of them out of that? Yeah. A packet. And it's really it's really liquidy because it's it doesn't thicken up very well. So you have just like when you do it in the Not cast iron pan. Not everybody has ever made gravy before, honey. Just like when you do it in the cast iron pan, dear. I never made Katie you do the cast iron pan. You put flour water in it so it thickens the gravy up. No. I just added straight flour to it and I put too much in. And now it's really thick, but I like thick gravy. So we use like a protein shaker bottle, guys. Water. You can turn that out. Finger, you're not let, over there helping so let, it, let it sit. Spread it out. Let it sit because the pan is not too big to the burner. Mm -hmm. But just let it, let it, let it sit there, and in the brown, as it sits there, it soaks up the butter. And get crispy, crispy hash browns in the making back there. <laughs> and this is just about done here. And just I want to make sure it's all get the grease cooked off. I'm going to be sloppy Joe's and I didn't cook all the grease off before I put the tomato sauce in there. Mm. Woo! Are you, Woo! Are you silver? So that means he was practicing his <laughs> butt squeezers. <laughs> that, <laughs> so just, gre that grease ran right through you. <laughs> so, just to be clear, in my silver class, we practice butt squeezers. <laughs> Everybody should be practicing their butt squeezers. I'll do anything for some food. <laughs> Not quite. It's being good. So if you're in Minnesota, what beautiful thing what things are you doing on this beautiful afternoon? And if anybody's oh, open to it, balls. you can come and wash my car. I drove home in the at dusk last night. Oh my gosh, the bugs were ridiculous. <laughs> Cycle. See, we're practicing. We're practicing. Practicing nothing. We're just practicing telling you somebody's home. Somebody in the hood is home. This is just about done. <laughs> you know, we've got leashes on a couple of these dogs to make sure we can separate them. And it's extra special hazard city up here. How's everybody doing? If you're catching the replay, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you got any, you know, requests for the coming weeks, let us know. Pretty soon we're going to be switching over to a lot of grilled stuff, but just be clear. My husband will wait till the hottest day of the summer and he will decide to bake something in the oven while making soup on the stovetop. So, and he will do it at that time that the electric company turns our air conditioner down to save energy. I think maybe Saturday or Sunday I'm going to make a wild rice and chicken stew. It's going to be 60 again. That's a good time. It's, just, it's a crock pot thing, so it's going to take about three hour, three to six hours to cook, but we'll just go with the gist of it, how to put it together, what's in it. So I'm going to... Just to be clear, in case you didn't catch the whole thing, you can catch the replay on YouTube, Making Meals Better. If you want the recipe emailed to you, go to nowgetgoing.com. We'll email the recipes tomorrow, you know, being Thursday. 
Oh, look, Ken's, Ken is taking his new roll seriously. And buy Denise's book. How much is it? $99.99? <laughs> or, mm, I think $11.99, honey, is the price. $11.99 times nine. Oh, got it. $11.99, and it will be signed and infused with Reiki love. And I'll mail it to you for $5. He's taking on his role as marketing director very seriously lately. I think he's enjoying summer. I want to retire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I would have stayed at my first job, I would have had 30 years in this year and I could have retired. So all you 16-year-olds out there, oh, foods. stay employed for the rest of your life there. I don't know if that's a good idea for everybody. Uh -oh. Find a job with Benefits in a 401k. Matching. Matching. Or some sort of match pay. Right in the middle, huh? Of course. How are we doing back there? Doing pretty good. The corn's done, just chilling on the burner. I'm gonna turn the we're gonna turn the uh, the gravy's pretty much done. That's just chilling on the burner. I'm gonna turn the mashed potatoes up. Because so far it's just water and butter. Water and butter. We got the flakes right here. How oh, are my hash browns doing? Am I going to get some crispies? Yeah. Hamburger hey, mushrooms are done. I wish I would have put onions in it. Bummer. Hey, you know, just saying, we're looking for other surprise guest chefs too. Say, people who want to help us make scones. I think there's someone in southern cities that wants to help me make scones. Get a free meal out of it? Yeah, scones probably. <laughs> we make you test your work. But hey, that would be fun. Or maybe another daughter of mine might want to come and make <coughs> something special someday too. Or I'll be back in July. Or Katie will be back. Deal is, you so, get to meet you. We got food included. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's a Wednesday we do that thing. Or a Friday. Or a Friday. Friday oh, night. for crying out loud. Mm -mm. Oh, oh yeah, we do this on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. We'll do one with Katie, too. We'll do one with Lizzie, too, if she comes. She'll come to the rodeo, but if she... I care when I want to cook that two-pound beef tenderloin. You're going to wait two months? Why? I'm just saying the rodeo's not for two months. Why would I cook when we got guests? <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Katie. <laughs> I have a pet now. <laughs> if she gets another dog, she's going to call it Coca-Cola. No, but that's her Halloween costume. Coke is, I swear. Coke is better. <laughs> Depends on if it's, she's going to get Pepsi, Coke, and whiskey. And then it will be who makes it better. There you go, Katie. We Coke. got your three dogs' names. Coke yeah. tastes better. Especially the orange vanilla Coke. Yeah. Uh, tried it. It's all try right. it now. It's all right. I'm not convinced. It's okay. Maybe I didn't have it cold enough. You can get him. Oops, I'll probably edit that part out. And all dogs on alert for a stick. Okay, before we institute a fight, I think we're just about done. Do we do a lot of keto meals? I don't know that I'd say we do keto, but I'd say we are meat heavy. They're very meat heavy meals. Like, See, doggies, hot dogs. Oh my gosh. Mm, even the people get to eat them. Love is everybody else as worried as I am? We're all very worried. There you go. You got some. But I've been trying to do more keto because my mom and her husband have been doing keto. So we just practiced that here on Mother's Day. But when I do keto, we're literally talking, here's a big slab of steak. It's touching my nose. <laughs> but we try. I, just, I did make, Kelly, I made some keto chocolate oat things. Oh my gosh. They were actually delicious. It was made out of cauliflower. I'm not a cauliflower fan, but it was pretty darn delicious. If you go to YouTube, you'll see the video there. Good ones. They're like four dollar hot dogs. But for the tank, they're the fun dogs. They have to be a little bit. The fun dogs are getting expensive. 
Fun dogs are like a fucking quarter to buck fifty a package now. So did we give our dogs fun dogs or what did we give? No, I got them uncured five dollar pack hot dogs, which I got for ninety nine cents. I was gonna say there's no way you spent five bucks on these. Oh hell no, I'd eat them myself then. Well, there you go. Did you go Pepsi? You said you go Pepsi. You're good, Susie. You're good, Bing. Hi, Saki. Saki, join the party. It's a hot dog party. I'm in. How are we doing on those mashed potatoes back there? Still melted oh. butter and water. Yeah. Oh, yeah, start flipping them. Here's a tip for hash for browns, guys. Yeah. This took me a long time to figure out. See, yeah, I can never get I can never get my hash browns to stick together, even with the butter. So you put the butter and you melt the butter, and then you leave the hash browns alone until they start turning brown and crispy. Then they get crispified. Just saying. Then like they stick together. You can't stir them constantly. If you stir them constantly, no good. And you need butter. I don't find that olive oil is really the way to oil go. Oil doesn't this. work. You gotta go butter, and real butter is good for you. Parquet, not so much. So my mom used my mom used to get the hash rolls that were pre-squared, the all right up pre-squared ones. So we never had a problem with that. We always had perfect hash rolls. Not parquet. Okay. Butter. Sushi. Butter. Real butter. Sushi wants his moment. Parquet. Look at my smile. He gets kind of lippy now. Bing bing. You're hiding. You're scaring Pepsi. High. You're scaring Pepsi. The biggest dog Pepsi, in the room. It's pretty. <laughs> Put me on camera again. Doggy. <laughs> well, this will be the Facebook oh, freeze because, you know, it'll be on the dogs, not on the food. So we're just about, just about ready to mix the potatoes. Are we now? With the butter <laughs> and the water. <laughs> Sushi! There, you want some loving? There. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna finish cooking this up and then we will dish it up and show you a picture because it's gonna be delicious. How could you make it even better? <coughs> a green vegetable, but I got outvoted, remember, because of her. Hmm. You could have made yeah. green beans. I could have made green beans. On right. what burner? Here we go. Right there. Oh, okay. So once your stuff, watch all the puppies. Ooh, sush. Once your stuff is, oh my. My pants, my pants too small, so I gotta do it like oh, this. Oh, oh dear. Melt the plastic. That oh, was boy. my thought. Oh boy. It's just hot water. Okay. There you go. And now you got mashed potatoes. You mix them and the flakes soak it up. If you want them creamy, you could add sour cream to them. Or if you want garlic potatoes, you can add garlic to them, Gar powdered garlic. Make sure there's no hot dates. Ah. Maybe you want them. You'll fix your lipito. I don't know about that, people. I mean, veggies are good for you. I don't think there's scientific proof on that fixing your frisky on that one. Might fix your frisky, but you know, garlic bread. <laughs> Make sure you both eat the amount of garlic. The spoon will fix your frisky. Pop. <laughs> oh, Somebody, you would think, you would think it was not his first beer. It's not, it's my second. Okay. All right, y'all have a great night. Make meals better, making meals better on YouTube. Now get going if you want the recipe. Ha <laughs> ha!